But this is going to be sweet. Stick around. Okay, public service announcement. Before you start putting this thing together, make sure you've got enough room. You need at least 12 feet from front to back and probably 10 feet. Um, okay, over the winter we found a, a sail on these fancy Schiller water bikes. There is the assembled picture. These are floats. The two pontoons that inflate. And some assembly required. This might be what this looks like here. So it's got a, a pontoon right there. I'll spare you all of the details here. Got the frame out. When you buy these assembly required kits and you get that one single Allen wrench in there, um, I'll have to say that Schiller, nice job. They give you all of the sizes that you're gonna need. Attention to detail. So far, impressed with packaging, shipment, supplies. All right, got the handlebar on. All right, so I got the right side pedal. It says to hand tighten first, and then with a wrench, with are knees, these little stirrup, er, snaps on there, clips. Right like that, you can open it that way and tighten it to hold your foot in place. All right, and so pedals, one there, one on that side. And I must say, these instructions are pretty um, intuitive. Not a lot of words, just pictures. Red, actually one, red, 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 and then once you have all of those done, then that's what it looks like in the green. I like the use of color there. Okay, so this out drive says to twist to nest in there. And then it says to twist the prop. And then up here, it has a zip tie around the prop to twist the prop. Aha, uh -huh. and then that nested down in there. And then I think these guys, this little prong, and that, uh -huh. and that gets in there like that. So once that's in there, then when you twist the prop, that engages all of the gears. I think we do like that. On the struts. I've got four struts. I'm going to stick them into each of these four holes, like they say right there. Key instruction there the longer end inserts into the bike frame sockets. So you can see that distance there is shorter than this distance here. So longer end, don't miss that. into place like that. Those pins pop out the side. Do that three more times. And also you'll notice the felt side goes up so when you get going make sure this felt side is up on all four. We're on to the pontoons and connecting those to the sockets. Make sure that you line up your pontoons on either side just so you know that this handle it goes on the back side, the back end. It's obvious. Both of these pontoons say, this one says right, this one says left. And these guys are gonna line up like that. And so, J 
just dry fit it all before you get too far ahead of yourself. Clips together, pop. Other side. Now, guys, we. All right, once those little knobbies pop through on all of them, you are set. Now it says to start pumping this thing up. Max. Handy pumper. This is going to take a little bit of doing, so you don't care about that. See you in a bit. After all of that, I needed to tag my son in because it says maximum 10 PSI and on the pump, 10 PSI doesn't seem like that far, but it's a long way. So these nice running boards for standing on. This is a sharp looking unit here. Mm -hmm. um, all right, now for some finishing touches. Okay, well with that, it is fully assembled. Now one of the worst things when you're putting something together is to find a bunch of extra stuff, but um, I didn't after looking through this. This actually is for the front deck. Um, so this is the standard configuration. So this is the standard setup. Now in addition, you can add, this is an extra add-on for the front deck that little platform in the front, which is this guy right here, but I'm not gonna blow that up right now. These little bungees are what fix um, that front, front platform there. Yeah, and then this is a repair kit, which hopefully we won't need. And I did not use the anti-seize lubricant when I screwed the pedals in. And with that, I think the thing is ready to go. This guy moves when you're in the water, that'll go down and you've got your, your skeg here and your gears will uh, propel you. And when you're not using it, that just slides up and out of the way. And I think this big backpack, it's, it's, it's like a rucksack. And it would be too, because this thing's not light. So conceivably, you could deflate the pontoons, take this thing apart, I guess, and pile it all into this bag and carry that on your back. It's, I don't know what you do with the frame. Maybe you just, maybe you carry that in the back of your, your car and you show up and you assemble this thing, pump it up. I don't know, start to finish. It took me an hour, I would say. But now that I know how all the pieces go together, I could probably do it in half that time, at least. I don't know, half hour setup. If you want to be portable and take this to wherever you want, it's time to go put it in the water. You're going down the side, guys. Right? Down the left side, yeah. yeah. This is the new toy for the year. So the Schiller bike is pretty simple. It's got these uh, two pontoons that, that float, the platform where you, where you stand on. And so it's got this propeller, this skeg. If you're in really shallow water, you can pull this down. You just pop that down and you can go in shallow water.
All right, what do you think about it, JC? It's fun. Anything more than fun? Do you get some exercise on it? Yeah. Is it hard to pedal? Yeah, so if you're wanting to get some exercise while out enjoying the lake, is this a is this a good toy? Yep. Yeah? Is it stable? Do you feel safe out here? Yeah, that's pretty stable. 